with Lieutenant Governor Northam and a question on the pipeline. Your opponent has strongly opposed two natural gas pipelines that are now proposed in Virginia and has suggested you're ducking the issue. Hmm. What is your position? Where do you stand on the pipelines? Are you for or against them? You know, uh, one of the questions that I often am asked, Gene, is why a pediatric neurologist would get into politics. And, you know, I want to remind people, I grew up on the Chesapeake Bay. It was literally my backyard. And over my 50-plus years, I watched the demise of the bay. So I said I can either be a bystander or I can get in there and try to make a difference and improvements. And I have one, been one of the leading fighters for our environment across the Commonwealth of Virginia. I took the phosphorus out of fertilizer so to, to help clean up the bay. Uh, I have been a candidate, the only statewide elected official that was outspoken against offshore drilling. I have been opposed to fracking. I have been opposed to uranium mining. So I hope people would know my record. Regarding the pipeline, if it moves forward, it needs to be done with transparency and science. And there are a couple areas that I think we need to really focus on. One is property rights. We need to be very sensitive to people's property rights that the pipeline is going through. We also need to be sensitive regarding the environment. And I was the only one uh, on this stage that actually wrote a letter to the DEQ uh, and had communication with the DEQ to do what I could as lieutenant governor through the executive branch to make sure that we change from blanket permitting to a site-specific permitting, which they followed my lead on. At the end of the day, I think everybody in the Commonwealth of Virginia that this is an interstate project. It goes from West Virginia through Virginia into North Carolina. So at the end of the day, FERC, or a federal agency, will be the one that makes that final determination. Mr. Mariello. I do response? oppose the two pipelines, and I'm the only one on this stage who's refused to take any money from Dominion Power and the other electric utilities and monopolies that the government should be keeping an eye on instead of being funded by. When we got into this race, I asked two questions. Is there any authority to do something about this, and do we have a better idea? The fact of the matter is, spending $6.7 billion on two pipelines that they have not even proven a need for is exactly the wrong direction. Instead of investing in the kind of job-creating programs that could pe put people to work tomorrow on weatherizing homes, on building wind and solar, on refurbing existing infrastructure. It's true we submitted a letter, uh, which was done after I had gotten in the race and opposed the pipeline, and you say you're for transparency. But last week, you refused to answer the question of whether you had met with Dominion privately before submitting that letter. We believe this is a time where we need to be transparent, but we also need to be strong. This is not just about climate change. This is about returning to a monopoly economy that closes out small business and farmers, or are we going to create jobs in areas of Southside and Southwest that are the jobs of the future? I believe Virginia deserves the jobs of the future. And Mr. Northam, you do have 30 seconds for a rebuttal. Uh, can you say yes or no for or against the pipeline, or are you not going to be clear on a yes or no? You know, I think I explained my position on the pipeline, and again, at the end of the day, it's not, it's not something... <laughs> It's not something uh, that a governor or a lieutenant governor can, can make a decision on. I can tell you, though, that if the pipeline moves forward, I will make sure that it's done with transparency and with science, like I just explained.